So everybody uh, telling you that making $10,000 a month sound real stupid when they make it sound easy until you find out it really is easy. Okay, so I was reading the scriptures and if you're a person like me that takes the Bible literally instead of just as some Ruha stuff, you'll come across scriptures that say things like, um, we were owed abundance. We're supposed to live a life in abundance, right? So you start wondering why life is so hard then. Why is it set up for when we try to get things, it, it, it has to come so difficult for us. So you've had this goal for a long time to make $10,000 a month because you see all the videos talking about making $10,000 a month as if that's a staple for freedom or something, right? But in the scripture, it says you have not because you ask amiss or you have not because you ask not. OK, so when I look at it like that, guys, and when you look at it like that, guys, and you take it literally, it makes a lot of sense. Ten thousand dollars a month can be easy for you to make. But a lot of you guys have roadblocks in your head. You have this obstacle. Um, you don't have confidence, all right? You lack confidence, so you don't feel like you're worth that, okay? So let me explain what I'm talking about, and you guys are going to know what I'm talking about, right? So check this out. <clears throat> you get on the call with a prospect. We don't do calls anymore, but let's say that you've been running Facebook ads to try to get clients, or you, uh, you know, been doing cold DMs or cold emails to try to get clients, you get on a call with them, you've already pre-qualified them, you know that their money is in the green, they make a lot of money, right? And when they get to the question of how much this is gonna cost, you're so in need of money, but you lack confidence that when they ask you how much your services are, you tell them something like a thousand bucks, 1500, 2500 or something like that. Deep down, you know that you've had this goal for a long time that you want to make $10,000 a month. Now you have to ask yourself, how much uh, will your skills bring them and put in their pocket? Oh, you're going to bring them an extra $100,000? You're going to bring them an extra you know, $50,000? Okay, well, why would it be grievous for them to give you ten thousand dollars if your skill level is at the point where you can bring them fifty to a hundred thousand do you see what i'm saying but since you lack confidence you don't even think to say ten thousand dollars because guess what you can have ten different people paying you a thousand dollars a month or you can have one person paying you ten thousand dollars and guess what just from you asking that one time or that person <laughs> you automatically think they're going to say, oh, that's too much. But if they're in the green and they have a marketing budget, $10,000 might not be so far-fetched if they're trying to get an ultimate goal that they have. If they're trying to make a million dollars, then you asking for $10,000 might seem minute if you can prove the result that you're going to give them. My point, guys, is you have not because you ask not. You you don't have the $10,000 because you don't ask for the $10,000. You don't believe you're worth the $10,000. Let me know if I'm wrong, man. You know, if you, if you disagree, put it in the chat before, uh, you know, below. If your goal is $10,000, you clicked on this video, right? That means you've had this goal at some point in time or another or you're working towards it right now. How come the next person you get on the call with or speak with or get ready to accept the charge with, how come you won't just ask them for the $10,000? Well, my price is already set at this and I don't wanna you know, seem like I'm being greedy or something. How much are you gonna be making for them? Oh, well, they should be able to bring in a good 100K from what I'm gonna be doing. Well, what's wrong with you getting $10,000? Who makes the prices in your company? See, this is what we have to realize, guys. We hopped out of one matrix into another matrix. We, we, we took the shackles off that other people gave us and then we put them on ourselves. So just because you watch all of these other YouTube videos where these SMMA people are charging 2,500 or, or a thousand bucks or something, you said to yourself, well, hmm, that must be what this is worth, but that's not true. Like it's worth what you say is worth. It's worth the transformation that you're gonna get these people. 
right? So you can decide when you want to make the $10,000. You decide how fast or how slow you get to that goal. The next person you talk to, you can decide if you want to charge them a hundred bucks. You can decide if you want to charge them a thousand bucks, or you can just cut to the chase and like ask the next person that you run into for a $10,000. Now they could say no, but you're only going to go through so many that are qualified before you run into the one that says, okay, let's, let's try this at $10,000. If you can get me this transformation, because guess what? You're afraid and you think that $10,000 is difficult to make, but a lot of people are still struggling to make a hundred dollars online. Their first a hundred dollars. So just imagine that. But, but those people you see is levels to the matrixes. Those people are charging seven bucks for an ebook or 27 bucks for a, a mini course or, or, or something like that. And they're like, damn, dog, all I got to do is sell four or five of these a day or something like that. You know, and, and I can probably get past a hundred dollars a day or they can just sell something for a hundred bucks. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. I had to struggle. I struggled with that realization that I control my income for a long time. And every now and then it still creeps up to me as well, guys. Like that's why I had to fight my my myself within. Like I had to I had to fight. So I went and I put outlandish prices on my site, my anti-agency site. So I have an offer for two hundred thousand dollars on that site. Right. I have an offer for thirty something thousand dollars, uh, fifteen thousand dollars on there, not knowing if a person is going to do it. But even when they do go to the site, they're going to see that I know my worth and that is going to increase my value in their eyes. So for the person that do have the money that come to the site, they'll go ahead and do it because they'll be like, OK, this guy must know his stuff. He must actually get results. So if you guys have a lot of you guys have more testimonials than me, if you have case studies, if you've proven your work, then you can charge whatever you feel the transformation will uh, uh, you know, be worth for the so-called client or customer that you're dealing with. Right. If you're in fitness and this person has been overweight since high school or middle school, and this is going to be the first time that they ever see their their stomach, their abs and their private parts <laughs> in literal years. But you charge them fifty dollars an hour or or ten dollars for some ebook. That's crazy. You're literally about to change their life and transform their physicality. Right. So you're worth the price tag that you put on yourself. When I came to that realization, guys, like I started playing around with numbers just to see what people would say. And then I got people paying me stuff that I thought was going to be too high at first. You know, I remember the first time a realtor, I was doing a live stream and a realtor. I was just showing them how to, you know, do their own SEO. I wasn't even trying to. Uh, you know, get any clients or anything like that. So on this live stream, I was telling them, just take notes. I'm not going to pitch you because most of you guys can't afford my prices. I told them that flat out that most of y'all can't even afford my prices. And they just enjoyed the training so much that like when it was about to be over, the dude was like, yo, um, you know, I understand that you're not taking on clients right now. And you said that, you know, your clients are super high ticket and, you know, you don't know if you can even get us results with our penny candy money. <laughs> but I have a budget of 6K. Can you do anything with that? And that was the first time somebody ever paid me $6,000. I'm like, hold on. This dude just like, yo, I got a budget of 6K, but if I approached him by telling him, you know, yo, hey, this or that or this, I probably would have been signing them for a thousand bucks or something. But since I said I didn't want any clients and that they couldn't afford me, he had to come up with a number. And I wasn't even trying to pitch or anything. He had to come up with a number high enough that they felt like it would get my attention. And it just, hap just so happened to be a number that I never even got from a flat off realtor before. 
needless to say, I went on ahead and accepted the 6K. Uh, another time, guys, was um, when I was really deep in the SEO and I was real busy. I didn't really like doing one-on-ones or nothing like that. So my one-on-ones, I had $5,000. It was $5,000. And I remember a guy just reached down and was like, yo, where do I send this? Because I need to talk to you. $5,000 for an hour? Right? But you, I go on YouTube and all of these people have, oh, you know what I'm saying, a uh, hundred bucks an hour, you know, just or a, even worse, free consultation or, or some stuff like that. They don't know their worth. You understand what I'm saying? So it's going to be difficult making a hundred bucks if you don't know your worth, let alone trying to get to $10,000 a month. All of these are possible, but you have not because you ask not. Like the scripture says, he says, ask and it'll be given to you. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. It's up to you. They literally ask you, how much is this going to cost? You're at the crossroads. You got choices. You can say it's going to be a thousand bucks. You can say it's going to be five thousand bucks. Or you can remember your goal of ten thousand and you can literally just say, it's going to be 10 grand. They can say, eh, I don't have that. But guess what? Cross that bridge when you get there. We psych ourselves out and get ourselves put out of the money. We just try to predict what they're going to say. And we'll close it off. You know what? But I bet that's too much. So what we'll do is we'll, you know, put 5K down and we'll break the other 10, you know, the other five up in increments. And this, this, that way it's easier for you and all of that. Please, no more of that. If your goal is $10,000 a month, just make the $10,000 a month. Shalom.